Mmm. Oh, yeah. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, Rudgy aka The Doctor. If you've just joined us, hit like, share and subscribe. Sit back and enjoy the ride. The Doctor knows best, trust me on that one. <laughs> anyway, what have we got this week? Well, this week um, it's a bit of an unusual video for me. Uh, it involves a lot of walking as the Black Pearl, as some of you know who watch the channel regularly, uh, has a few issues with the uh, cooling system and it's getting worse. Um, I don't want you fretting the fans of the Black Pearl because I know that it's got, she's got her fans. Um, I've ordered another radiator. It arrived at Bronco's house yesterday. He's packaging it up and putting it with my personal items which will be coming out on Nomad deliveries um, Well, within the next month, um, but it means I've got to struggle on. However, it's my birthday on the 14th of May and uh, my sister from another mister, the Bucket, uh, she will be coming out uh, for my birthday and we'll have to hire a car um, to get her around. So it's, it'll, it, I can juggle it, but it's difficult. So what have we got for you this week? Well, um, I'm going to do, as I can't use the Black Pearl very much, there's a, a bit of a walk around the village that I live in, uh, Caravada, so I thought you might like to see that. And uh, also a little bit, I touch on the religious festival, which I know nothing about. <laughs> but I find it all very interesting. Uh, and then there's just general maintenance around the house, really. Um, I'm uh, in the middle of cleaning the place up because, as some of you know, I've just moved in and it uh, hasn't been lived in for quite some while. So uh, I'm uh, tidying up and cleaning up and making it look lovely again. So without further ado, should we get on with the video? I think we should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, uh, what are the rest of you having then? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's obviously mine, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, phew. um, hmm, well, how's that then? Let's put the kettle on. Come to Kefalonia, they said. <coughs> It'll be fun, they said. The sun shines all day, they said. <laughs> it's nothing but rain and it's pretty chilly since I got here. Yeah, oh, well. Never mind. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so here we are. Uh, Lithostratus is that way. And the theatre's over there. Um, I thought you might like to see uh, what the town's like on uh, Easter Sunday. Um, not a lot happening there because it all happened during the day. I was working on the house. But uh, there you go, look. I don't know how well the uh, the video is picking this up, but uh, got some nice pretty lights, <laughs> candles if you can't make them out with bows around them. Um, I've just been to see uh, the Fazard Tigger, as I call her, and. Uh, She's given me a pepper pig candle. Apparently I've got to go to my village now and uh, about 10 o'clock um, they go, the priest goes around and lighting people's candles and blessing them or something. <laughs> I think the same thing happens uh, when they come past my house on Monday, but uh, maybe I'll put the candle out and save it for that as well. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I thought you might like to see the square. There you go, this is where it all happened earlier on today. So I think I'll get back to the bike and uh, go back to my village <laughs> and see what's happening. That noise you can hear is uh, Probably just about every motorcycle on the island. <laughs> I don't know what quite is going on, but 
Looks like I missed out there. Mostly scooters. So there you go, Calvin. You can bring your scooter over here. So we're just uh, walking back along uh, the quayside. There's a the Catalonia sign. The uh, bearings. Pretty peaceful. Well, apart from when the bikes go, um, apart from when the bikes went past, that is. So I've come for a bit of a walk because uh, Tigger said there was a bit of a thing going on tonight religiously, but I think that might be tomorrow or definitely Monday something's happening. But anyway, I thought I'd come and, uh, while I'm here, I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera, but the church in the middle of my village is all lit up and looking splendid, I think you'll agree. So yeah, I haven't done a, a walk around a Caravadas. A lot of you have been here, I would think. Um, we have a, a taverna and a, uh, a little shop, neither of which I've been in yet, so I need to try and uh, get on and do that. So this is the main street through the shops where that Toyota truck is there. <laughs> And in that direction, you go down to the crossroads, you turn left, you're in uh, Lourdes before you know where you are. But anyway, there's the church. Clock's right as well, half past ten at night. <laughs> and there's the little corner shop. I think they uh, double up as a bar. Um, so today, something slightly different. Got a bit of a problem with the... Uh, the Black Pearl uh, leaking its water out the radiator. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> There's a little lizard there, look, see him? Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, um, Black Pearl's leaking water, so I thought I'd walk you around my village, basically. This is the road in from. Uh, the main road uh, between Augustoli and Poros and that's the hill that you can see on a lot of my videos and I live over that side of the village uh, at an undisclosed <laughs> uh, place because <laughs> I don't want to get swamped it's very, very nice to see you all but uh, <laughs> you never know who's watching these do you anyway yeah I live over the back there so I get a view of Mount Enyus. and uh, we've had a lot of rain and it's been pretty cold when it rained um, unusually for April usually in my shorts by now when I'm in the garden I uh, haven't really wanted to do a lot the last couple of days look at that place absolutely beautiful so yeah I thought I'd walk you around the village uh, I was hoping um, there's apparently a procession of an effigy or something that comes past mine and Marcus's house with the priest and everybody blessing everything. I was hoping to get that on film, but uh, it didn't happen for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, maybe the weather, I don't know. But uh, anyway, there's the church. And on the right is... Uh, a little mini market and they serve beer and stuff I think haven't tried that out yet might try that later so uh, yeah 
we're gonna go uh, round to my right now and walk down here a little ways I don't know uh, whether you call that the square or what the fountain there of some kind some sort of public building there's a post box there as well where I can put my post and a telephone and of course if you go straight on down there where that car's just come from you'll eventually end up at the beach that I filmed uh, last week I think it was um, which is probably by motorbike or car five to ten minutes away I don't know how far it is to walk I'm not gonna uh, I don't intend to find out <laughs> And Posada is down this way as well, if you walk down here. Well, walk it after drive, that's quite a distance from me. So yeah, there's the uh, local church, 1907 it has above the door there. And the local graveyard. There's a school just round the corner. Got everything here, really, if, you're, if you've got a small family. So the school's just down there. Uh, as you can see, you can see the Kinthos in the distance. I can just make that out from the uh, rear of my house. Just from through the trees and some of the buildings, I can just make it out. Very clear today. Look at that. Look how clear you can see that. Fantastic. Apparently, it's uh, like Little Britain. <laughs> There's lots of English people live here. Um, I can't say as I've noticed that yet. <laughs> but I dare say I will in a minute. Um, so yeah, let's have a little wonder about and see what else we can find. So I just uh, cut through there. Uh, that little road there. There's a well right in the middle of the road, funnily enough. <laughs> So now we're at the uh, back end of the church there. You can see the church in the distance there. And uh, we'll have a little wander down here now. So I'll just uh, cut through there, uh, that little road there. There's a well right in the middle of the road, funnily enough. <laughs> so now we're at the uh, back end of the church there. You can see the church in the distance there. And uh, we'll have a little wonder down here now. Quite an old village, really. When you look at some of the buildings, um, you can see how they've altered the construction through the years. There's one like mine there, steel framed with, uh, it's like a fibre type board. Um, I'm not sure it's concrete, but uh, yeah. And then there's a, in contrast, there's a concrete building there. And another concrete building there, and a very modern one over there. Look at that. There's some very nice buildings in this village. I have to say, swimming pool there. <laughs> Things you notice when you're not actually driving or riding the motorbike. But like I say, I don't walk very often because uh, of my accident. Um, walking out's okay, getting back can sometimes be a bit of a problem, but I'm all right today. Uh, my back's, uh, it's okay. Ah oh, yes, look at that. Somebody after my own heart got a nice rose bush growing in the garden. And some lemons there. Have to get myself a rose bush. Get a nice view of the mountain there from this part of the road. Still lots of things to get for the house. I've got to get a, a post box like that. Um, and then go and inform the post office where I am. But uh, they're quite expensive, so that might have to wait for a while. Look at the view as you drive down uh, at Caravadas. 
just round that corner there would be uh, Lourdes. Uh, Musata, Vlahata, and Lourdes down there. Some of these buildings. <laughs> now. So yeah, it gives you a different perspective, doesn't it, me walking everywhere. That's the first high car of the season I've seen. <laughs> Although it's been a, a week or so since we had the first plane, so yeah. Look at that though, aren't oh, no, I lucky? <laughs> yeah. Now if you go down there, uh, I've discovered that takes you out onto the road that takes you through the back road through to um, Lourdes. Um, there is like an old road, like when I first came here, as I've said before, the roads were all like that. You see the gravel in the distance there. Um, but that doesn't go very far. It goes around that corner and down, and then you're back onto uh, a concrete and then tarmac road. Um, but it is quite bumpy along the gravel track. So I don't tend to bring the Black Pearl along there because she doesn't like it very much. She's not built for that. So uh, we'll see what sort of car I get because I'm looking for a car at the moment, but it's going to have to be cheap. Got another flight coming in in the distance. I don't know if they can see that. Yeah. I think because the wind is coming from that direction today, they're probably circling around and coming in from the Argostoli end. Uh, as opposed from the mainland then. But, uh, yeah, anyway, coming to the bottom of the village now. And as you can see, there's a mini market and uh, a little taverna up there. Never been in either of those, but maybe I will this summer when I get some guests. We may well go in there. Let's go and have a look and see. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I've not been in there ever, so uh, I may film that, because that'll be a first. Nothing open yet, of course. But you might want to try it yourselves and leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what it's like. You may have been there and tell me what it's like. <laughs> anyway. Look at that, there's an old Fiesta Mark 1 there. And an old caddy. Cut my teeth in those in the haulage business when I drove for a living for a while. The, uh, I worked for a company called Midway Trucking and they used to pick up all the stuff that the other air freight companies had dropped the ball on and uh, tried to get it to the plane because there's huge fines. And the bus actually put a GTI engine in one of the diesel versions of one of those for me because I was nuts back then. How I never lost my license or killed myself, I don't know. But I was well known for getting things to the airport that are pretty impossible and people had given up on. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, a little walk around my village. I think we're coming down into somebody's house down there, so uh, I'm going to turn around and head back. But look at the view that place has got. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's as clear as I've seen Zikinthos for a good while. I'd like to go over there uh, for a little break. Um, but money's extremely tight this year, as I've said, so it might have to wait till next year. But if, uh, if the boat sells, I'll be going to... Uh, a couple of islands I think and videoing them for your pleasure um, so yeah if you've been in that taverna let me know what it's like if you haven't and you do go drop a comment in the comments section think about these uh, old cars is it upsets me a little bit because I'm a bit of a petrol head. You can't do anything with that. It's so difficult to get the paperwork back again because if the tax hasn't been paid, you're liable for all the years it hasn't been paid. Upsetting the dog, I think. 
nice little street up there to walk up now just up there in the distance you see the white building uh, that was another property that's uh that marion showed me around um and we were gonna me and keith were gonna buy that turn it into one holiday let and one livable place for me but uh well figures didn't quite add up but yeah that's the road that you can see at the bottom there that road comes all the way up into the village uh, and it's not too bad it's tarmac all the way apart from that last bit so I do tend to go out that way sometimes we've got Masata over there yeah but I can't get over how clear it is and not how nice it is today it was absolutely chucking it down this morning it threw it down so hard that it flooded the living room <laughs> Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Well, yeah, actually it did. There was a, water, a big pool of water underneath one of the seats because um, it came underneath the windows, underneath the doors that I've got. Um, so I may have to address that uh, for the winters because I don't want to be having the shutters closed when I'm in. I mean, it's all right when I'm not there. The shutters are shut and it probably doesn't get in then. But uh, Look at that, it's so clear. You can even see the mainland, which is beyond where Poros is. It's incredible absolutely incredible the contrast of the weather people have been saying it's been pretty miserable the last couple of weeks to be fair i started to wonder why i'd come <laughs> but uh, uh and this morning it was pretty chilly and absolutely chucking it down and now i've got this sweatshirt on i'm too warm i'm gonna go home have a shower and uh, put a t-shirt on i think ridiculous it's a shame that the black pearls are not very well um otherwise they've gone out i might do that tomorrow but uh, i have to nurse her wherever i go now because she chucks water out um and of course petrol's very expensive if I, if I use the 100 octane rating which she prefers to run on and i get better mileage out of that it took uh, 31 quids worth yesterday to fill it up and I can get through a tank quite easily doing these videos but uh, yeah never mind I've got plenty to do at the homestead so I'll have to cut down my travelling hours <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> I suspect that the water might go off soon <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know how long that's been like that, but it's not going to put up with that for long, is it? Mm. Now you see those? I don't know whether they're swifts or swallows. Not being a twitcher, I couldn't tell you. Fantastic, look at that flying around. So a little story for you, the other day I sat on my uh, vast balcony, on my own as usual, <laughs> drinking my coffee, when the sky filled up with these little critters, and uh, I don't know whether I'm catching this because I've got my glasses on, but anyway, yeah, so anyway, um, I have a nest in one of the eaves, uh, there was an old nest that had fallen down, they'd obviously built a new one when I moved in, anyway, we had a bit of a tremor the other day and it fell down because it had dried out and I thought well that's a shame it would have been interesting to see them come and go I know they make a mess but they're not there for very long you know, another one there look. Um, anyway one flew in through the front door and started flying around the living room and I didn't really want it nesting in the living room so I had to get a broom and usher it out gently <laughs> uh, but yeah the wildlife's pretty good where I live actually because there's nothing behind me other than fields really. Bit of a worry if there's a fire because I'm first in line to get it. You'd be better off here of course but uh, nevertheless it has its benefits. It must be beer o'clock because it's getting warm. Very appropriate for me isn't it Anka? As I said, we've got uh, buildings of all descriptions. I wouldn't think that's an old building, that's concrete. That's, uh, 
that's concrete as well this one well this one here was built in 1908 how do i know that it says up there <laughs> There's the famous hills. I bet that's a noisy house when it rains. <laughs> yeah. oh, look at this. There you go, another building, 1899, it says on that one. Uh, it's sure they had a load of work done soon. So it has got timber lintels. So that's interesting. And it does look like it's brick inside the uh, the rendering. Interesting. So yeah, if you turn, there's a church down there. You come to this crossroads here and turn right. This will intake you out the Masata eventually. If you follow it all the way around, obviously you come back out in the village. Now, for those of you who are paying attention, uh, last week I think it was, I uh, went to Telios, first ride of the year, and uh, This was the road out that I filmed. Bit of a good old walk today. I will need to show when I get back. It's quite warm. Now look at that. It's got a stainless steel mailbox. <laughs> That's just taking the mickey, isn't it? I can't afford that. Might have got a BMW on the drive as well. So there you go. So yeah, this is the back road out the village. I'm not going to go too much further because uh, I think my back's telling me it's time to go back home and have a nice cup of tea because uh, I don't drink as much as I used to these days, as you know. So yeah, this is where we started the video to Catellius. And there you go. The village of Caravadas. And there's the two famous humps over in the distance there is where I usually do the intros. I may even do the intro for this week's video from there. Who knows? But you'll know because you'll have been watching it now for about half an hour. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, that, as they say in Filmland, is that back to the studio. And so that's this week's video. Back at the Rudge House household. There's the Black Pearl. So, yeah, I've done all the gardening down here now, as you saw on one of the videos. Uh, trimmed all that back it's all starting to come into flower now it's going to, trust me, in a few weeks time that will look beautiful um, I've even made a start up here uh, I've cleared most of this now and around there but I've got to get Mackis to uh, strim all this back clear it all I'll bag it up and get rid of all the remnants and uh, the same goes for that there. And then I'll work out what works as far as the irrigation system is concerned, because some of it's not piped up. And, uh, and that'll be that. So there she is, look, in disgrace. The water that's on the floor hasn't come out of her. Um, it's where I've, the sealant that I put in, as you can see, makes a mess. So uh, when I come back at night, I have to wash it off the floor. Uh, yeah. But never fear, I've got one coming, hopefully, via Nomad International with uh, some of my personal items. Um, 
Interestingly enough, Dan tells me that Nomad have got a £50 minimum charge. Uh, something to bear in mind if you've got a smaller item to come. Uh, but I think in certain circumstances that's pretty cheap. Okay, so armed with a scrubbing brush and some uh, soapy water, I clean those. Now, I've had a little go at this area here, it came up alright. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to have a go at the rest of it now. There's areas where it's quite clean where the water runs on. As you can see, as you get round here, it's pretty grubby. So, look at that. <laughs> That's going to take some getting off. So, a bit of hard work, and uh, there's the line. I don't know whether it shows up very well on the camera. See it there? Got all that to do yet. Yeah, if I wish you hadn't started something. Oh well, look nice when it's done, eh? Well, yeah. Several days later, and uh, yeah, it's coming up all right, but it's uh, yeah, quite hard work. Well, one of the things I've got to do, <clears throat> and one of the trips the bike has had to make, is to uh, tell the postman where I live because there's no street names, no house numbers. <laughs> Just a zip code so you go and tell the postman where you're living and uh, he delivers the post so uh, we're going to the post office see how we get on okay so here's the post office in uh, the stratus um, we'll go in and see what they say well that was pretty easy uh, I just went in wrote my name on the back of one of my business cards because my business cards have got Rudgy written on them obviously <laughs> uh, so I put uh, my full name on there told him who I lived opposite because um, Maccas is quite well known in the village and the penny dropped and he went ah yeah I know where you are so that's it hopefully my post will now get to my address <laughs> but we'll see so what I'm going to do is get uh, my sister from another mister, uh, the bucket, to um, send me a letter or something, or just a blank envelope, anything will do. So I'm going to get back on the bike now and uh, sit back home. From a sunny Caravados, <clears throat> for those of you who visited the Kofi page this week, thank you ever so much. Uh, it means a lot to me that you do that. And for those of you who have subscribed to the PayPal side of things, thank you very much for that. It is a big help because, uh, you know... <laughs> As I say, flying a bit close to the wind. Anyway, next week's video hopefully will be a little bit more interesting. Um, the weather's getting better, and I intend to try and nurse the bike to somewhere interesting for you. But that was a little look around my village. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next Friday. Take care, and thanks for watching. Andy, <laughs> back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs>